Hello Leo, welcome to your September 2021 spiritual conversation. This is Aquarius Queen and today we will be getting you a general message, a love message, and a message regarding your finances and career. By law, I need to state that I am not a financial advisor or a nutritional specialist. I just know what I'm doing. So, we currently have Leo in the 8th house. So, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Chiron. You guys could definitely be feeling like there's endings happening in your life. There's beginnings happening in your life and you're starting to see things from a more spiritual perspective. You're understanding the ebb and flow. You're understanding why cycles have to happen and how things occur when it comes to the cycles that repeat themselves in your life. You understand that things happen in the moment, by the moment, for the moment because it's supposed to happen in that moment. I feel like you're just understanding things from a more spiritual perspective here. Can I get a general message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Chiron? You have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so generally right now, you're really focused on how you can continue to work on this business or this financial endeavor in which you've already been taking place in. Some of you could be um, inquiring or thinking about a job change. Or in what way can you expand your job, right? Because you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter energy at the bottom of the deck. So you could be working on how you could expand this business or how you can bring about more wealth, more abundance, more opportunity. Um, just an overall wondering of what work you can put in and what areas to continue to reap benefits. Even though it may feel like things have stopped, you know that you have to try and stay in a strong vibration because everything has an ebb and flow. So even though you're in this hangman moment, you just need to refocus, rebalance, and recenter so that way things can come to you more clearly, especially with all, um, the moon, which is just leaving Leo. So you can have definitely been feeling as though things are not very clear to you and that is going to change just remember to try and stay in a higher vibration because you seem to manifest things when you're in that higher vibration and that's really what's going to benefit you moon card at the bottom of the deck and i just talked about the moon um leaving your sign so yeah definitely a heavy emphasis around the new moon and the full moon um pay attention to those dates and work your money magic work your magic on those dates the new moon september 7th will be in the sign of the new moon on september 7th will be in the sign of virgo so that's a really good sign it's earth sign so you can start manifesting money or manifesting expansion for your business let's get you a love message what's going on in leo sun moon and chiron's love life please give accurate insight and guidance just got your channel song so let me write this down your channel song will be in the description box below okay for your love life we have judgment in reverse okay so right now you and your partner could have a different outlook or way of viewing or thinking things i feel like there is some conflicting interest even though it feels like one person is just trying to say something so that they can help, like this person's, this person's overall intention is to help you by doing something or saying something, but you don't feel like it's helpful. Okay. What messages do we have for Leo's love life? Okay. 
okay you have real twin flame and you have rose quartz at the bottom of the deck so i feel like whatever is going on between you whatever is going on between you and this partner is just because both of you guys could potentially be stressed but with the real twin flame card it definitely feels like you have a spiritual connection with this person even if one of you don't know it or realize it then you have rose quartz at the bottom of the deck so it could be a good time to meditate with rose quartz energy or to you to carry around rose quartz give your partner a rose quartz it will benefit and help transmute that energy into love Even though I have a general idea as to what you're going through in your financial situation, because we had that eight, man, okay, I'm keeping, I, I was about to say eight of pentacles and eight of swords jumped out. And I'm also noticing at the bottom of this deck is the eight of swords. So you are definitely stuck in your head about a particular thing and you feel as though you're becoming binded or you're becoming trapped in a situation unknowing how to get out of it you could be coming trapped in debt and not knowing how to get out of it i'm hearing financial relief for stimulus check mm. clarify these eight of swords for leo sun moon and chiron's There you go, Leo. You gonna find a way to get through it. You gonna find a way to get through it. Double card in reverse. People around you can have some malicious intent, or people are starting to look at you in a different way. It's like energy is being thrown at you, so you are struggling right now because the way this energy is being thrown at you, it's it's kind of changing what you feel as far as your thoughts. Usually, as a Leo, you have these confident thoughts. You know that you can do things because of the stress that you have at this time. Things just may not be as clear. But the sun card is here, which is Leo energy. So you're going to get back into that vibration. Maybe um, work with some sun crystals or some Leo crystals. Or even take the time to go outside with the sun. Collecting on that sun's energy. Because I feel like it will benefit you. Potentially even working on some magic relating to the sun energy. Again, that could be crystals. That could be certain images, certain sigils. Maybe sigils of the sun, you know. There's different ways you can work with that sun energy. So this is the general version of your reading. If you'd like to see the extended version, please check out my Patreon in the description box below. Thank you, Cancer.